on Landau theory of liquid helium 2, we have already attended the three lectures. You have seen in the first lecture the concept of uh, phonons and rotons. Uh, after that, we have discussed the basic uh, uh, equations of this Landau theory of liquid helium 2 in the second lecture. And in the third part of the lecture on this Landau theory of liquid helium 2, we have calculated the a specific heat capacity uh, due to the contribution of phonons. Now, today in this uh, fourth part of this lecture, uh, our aim is to calculate the specific heat uh, capacity due to the roton contribution which I have denoted by the symbol CV uh, rotation, okay, CV rot. And uh, again, for your convenience, here I am mentioning all the important results which we have discussed in the previous lectures because these results will be needed for our further discussion, okay. So, you have seen in the previous lecture that uh, energy of phonon uh, E of P is given by C times P where you know that C is velocity of sound and P is the momentum of phonon. So, this C must be not confused with a speed of electromagnetic wave because we are talking about phonon not about photon. Okay? And, uh, Similarly, we have also uh, seen that energy of this another excitation uh, which is actually called roton that is given by Ep equal to delta plus P minus P naught whole square divided by 2 mu. Actually here this delta you know this denotes uh, the minimum energy of the roton. Okay? Uh, when its momentum is equal to P naught and P is its momentum and mu is the effective mass. Okay. And apart from these two results, we have also seen that the mean value of the occupation number, this N of P is given by 1 over E to the power minus beta E of P minus 1. Okay. Here you know that this beta is the Boltzmann factor and <coughs> this is minus 1 over kT. Okay? And uh, since a specific heat capacity is contributed by both of the excitations that is the phonon and rotons, so the total specific heat capacity of this liquid helium 2 uh, which is defined as del mu by del T at constant V this is given by simply the sum of the uh, specific heat contribution due to the phonon and due to the roton. So, Cv is equal to Cv pH plus Cv rot. Okay? As you know that this Cv pH is the contribution of a phonon in a specific heat and Cv rot is the contribution of a roton in a specific heat. Okay? And uh, in just in the previous lecture, we have find the expression for CVPH and you, you can see your last result of the previous lecture that this CVPH is given like this. This is NK times 16 pi to the power 5 V divided by 15 H cube C cube times KT to the power 3. Here, as you know, that this b, small v is given by v over n. Actually, this is the volume of one uh, one uh, <coughs> particle. n is total number of particle, and v is the total volume. So, if uh, volume of n particle is v, then volume of one particle will be v by n. So, this represents volume of one particle. Okay. And uh, in terms of the zeta function, this results for Cv of uh, Cvph is given like this. This is 12 
जेटा फोर डिवाइडेड बाई जेटा थ्री टाइम्स एन पी एच के ओके हेयर एक्चुअली दिस एन पी एच रिप्रेजेंट द टोटल नंबर ऑफ फोनोन्स एंड के इज द बोलमैन कॉन्स्टेंट सो दीज आर ऑल द रिजल्ट विच वी हैव सीन इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर एंड वी विल नीड फॉर आवर फर्दर डिस्कशन दीज रिजल्ट ओके नाउ एज आई हैव टोल्ड यू दैट इन दिस लेक्चर आवर एम इज टू कैलकुलेट दिस सी वी ऑफ रो दैट इज ए कंट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ रोटोन्स इन इन द इन constituting a specific heat of this liquid helium 2 okay so now let us try to find this cv root okay as you can see i have just mentioned that the uh, roton part of energy e of p is given by delta plus p minus p not whole square divided by 2 mu okay now uh, in general Uh, we are talking about the liquid helium 2 which exists at very low temperature so in general our temperature of interest is of uh, this range this is t less or equal to 2 kelvin actually in this temperature range uh, the exponential factor e to the power delta by kt this will be much greater than 1 okay and if it is much greater than 1 then this uh, exponential factor e to the power minus beta ep will be also much greater than 1 and so in the expression for the mean occupation number which you write in this manner 1 over e to the power minus beta ep minus 1 since e to the power minus beta e is much greater than 1 so in this denominator one can be neglected in comparison to the exponential factor e to the power minus beta e so approximately you can write that this mean occupation number n of p is just equal to 1 over e to the power minus beta e or this is equal to e to the power plus beta e okay now as you know that this beta is equal to minus 1 over kt so this can be written as e to the power minus 1 over kt times e of p but uh, for rotons you know that this e of p is equal to delta plus p minus p not square divided by 2 mu so i have substituted the value of e of p here okay now this can be written like uh, this e to the power minus delta by kt times e to the power minus p minus p not whole square divided by 2 mu kt okay so after uh, getting the value of mean occupation number now we can find the total number of rotons and the total internal energy of the rotons and how we can find these two quantities the concept has been already discussed in the previous lecture in detail so here i will uh, omit some of the steps because you have already learnt these things in the previous lecture as uh, you could have seen that number of rotons uh, is equal to what this will be just integral of g of p dp times n of p because uh, you know that this g of p dp this represents the uh, density of a states that is the number of uh, uh, particles in in average number of particle per quantum state and when we will multiply this g of p dp by this n of p dp then the number of particles in the momentum range between p and p plus dp will be obtained and when you will integrate this value then you will get the total number of particles so the total number of rotons has been written as integral 0 to infinity g of p dp times n of p okay but uh, as you have seen several times that uh, for a bo for a spinless boson this g of p dp is equal to what This is four pi b over h cube 
times p square dp you have seen this result uh, so many times and this result is valid for a spinless boson for which uh, s is equal to uh, 0 and therefore the spin degeneracy factor gs is equal to 1 okay now we will substitute the value of uh, this g of p dp and this n of p okay and uh, you can see that uh, value of g of p is equal to this much which i have mentioned it here and n of p you can see that this n of p is equal to this much okay so after substituting the values of this density of a state g of p and uh, average of occupation number n of p your result will be like this this is 4 pi v over h cube times e to the power minus delta by kt and integral 0 to infinity exponential uh, exponential minus p minus p naught whole square divided by 2 mu kt p square dp okay now to evaluate this uh, integral we substitute uh, this epsilon square equal to p minus p naught square divided by 2 mu kt okay and when we will uh, uh, substitute uh, this epsilon square in a state of p minus p naught whole square by 2 mu kt and uh, you all we you will also find the value of this uh, dp and then uh, your result uh, will be like this and uh, apart from this we have also we also considered that uh, this 2 mu kt divided by p naught square is much smaller than under this condition this integral which i have mentioned it here you can see uh, this number of roton n root will be equal to 4 pi v by h cube e to the power minus delta by kt times p naught square 2 mu kt to the power half and integral 0 to infinity e to the power minus e square d epsilon actually i have uh, not done the uh, required algebra here this is a very simple fact you have to calculate the we have to take differential of this uh, uh, substitution and then you will get this result and you can do it so this is just a homework for you okay i have not uh, written all those steps here okay now you know the from the concept of gamma function that the value of this integral is root over phi divided by 2 so when we will uh, substitute root pi by 2 instead of this integral what will be our result you can see this will be n root equal to 4 pi v by h cube e to the power minus delta by kt times p naught square 2 mu kt to the power half times root pi by 2 okay now this uh, 2 will cancel and here there will be 2 and pi is under square root so this result can be written as 2 pi v by h cube times e to the power minus delta by kt times p naught square 2 pi mu kt to the power half this is n <coughs> root so in this way you have calculated the value of the total number of rotons now our aim is to find the internal energy of the roton part of the system okay and uh, as you have learnt in the previous lecture if your aim is to find the uh, rotation <coughs> if your aim is to find the internal energy first of all we will find the energy of dn dn root this is number of uh, rotons having momentum between p and p plus dp <coughs> and this uh, energy and the energy of this number of rotons will be dn root times uh, e of t e of p okay and when you will integrate this between the limit 0 and infinity you will get the total energy so after substituting the value of this dn root and e of p 
uh, you can write the rotational energy sorry not rotational but uh, energy internal energy due to the roton part this will be u rot equal to 4 pi v over h cube e to the power minus delta by kt integral 0 to infinity exponential minus p minus p naught square divided by 2 mu kt times delta plus p minus p naught square divided by 2 mu p square dp okay again here we will substitute uh, p minus p naught square divided by 2 mu kt equal to epsilon square again we will substitute and we will again take the differential of it and after substituting all those values in this equation your result will be 4 pi v by h cube e to the power minus delta by kt times p naught square 2 mu kt to the power half and integral 0 to infinity exponential minus epsilon square because you have considered this factor as epsilon square and delta plus and again you can see that this p by p naught uh, whole square divided by 2 mu this will be equal to kt times epsilon square okay and d epsilon so uh, now we will again evaluate uh, this integral and uh, after integrating it your result will be like this actually value of this integral will be equal to root over pi by 2 into delta plus half kt this will be the value of that integral and when you will substitute this value your result will be u root equal to 2 pi v by s cube e to the power minus delta by kt p naught square 2 pi mu kt to the power half times delta plus half kt okay so in this way we have calculated the internal energy due to the roton part okay and after getting the value of n root and u root now you can see how these two quant uh, these two quantities are related and for this let us divide uh, this u root by n root you can see the expression for u root in this equation number 2 and uh, uh, the expression for n root in this equation number 1 you can see that uh, this factor 2 pi v by h cube e to the power minus delta by kt p naught square times 2 pi mu kt to the power half this is just a common factor it is present in both of the equations so this factor will cancel out and uh, only uh, this factor delta plus half kt remains so you can see that this u root plus n root is simply equal to delta plus half kt and therefore you can say that u root is equal to n root times delta plus half kt okay now as uh, we have calculated the value of internal energy of uh, due to the contribution of roton so what will be the uh, contribution of roton in constituting the specific heat of this system now we can find from the definition you know that this cv root will be given by del u root by del t at constant v now uh, let us substitute the value of this u root from this equation 2 and differentiate it with respect to temperature t so after differentiating it with respect to temperature t uh, what will be your result this is just a simple differentiation i have actually written it here directly but you can check it after differentiation that this cv root is equal to 2 pi v by h cube e to the power minus delta by kt times p naught square 2 pi mu kt to the power half times k into 3 by 4 plus delta by kt 
प्लस डेल्टा बाय के टी होल स्क्वायर ओके नो इन टर्म्स ऑफ एन रोटेशन दिस एक्सप्रेशन कैन बी रिटर्न लाइक दिस बिकॉज यू कैन सी द एक्सप्रेशन फॉर एन रोटेशन एक्सक्लूडिंग द फैक्टर के इन टू द टर्म्स इन साइड द स्क्वायर ब्रैकेट द रिमेनिंग फैक्टर यू कैन सी इज नथिंग दिस इज सिंपली इक्वल टू एन रोटेशन सॉरी एन रोट सो यू कैन सी दैट दिस इज एन रोट ओके सो फॉर दिस फैक्टर इन दैट इक्वेशन वी विल पुट एन रोट एंड सो आई हैव सब्सटीट्यूटेड फॉर दिस टू पाई भी बाई एच क्यूब टाइम्स पी नॉट स्क्वायर टू पाई म्यू के टी टू दी पावर हाफ फॉर दिस दिस एन रोट इज रोट हैज बिन रिटर्न ओके एंड द रिमेनिंग फैक्टर्स आर के टाइम्स दिस मच थ्री बाई फोर प्लस डेल्टा बाई के टी प्लस डेल्टा बाई के टी होल स्क्वायर सो वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड इन दिस वे द सी भी ड्यू टू द कंट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ रोटॉन्स ओके एंड दिस वॉज आवर एम ऑफ दिस लेक्चर नाउ फ्रॉम दिस एक्सप्रेशन फॉर सी भी यू कैन सी दैट वेन दिस टी टेंस टू जीरो वेन टी टेंस टू जीरो यू कैन सी दिस एक्सप्रेशन इफ टी टेंस टू जीरो ड्यू टू दिस फैक्टर विच इज आई एम जस्ट अंडरलाइनिंग दिस दिस सी भी रोट विल टेन टू जीरो and at the same time for the expression for n root you can also see that when this t will tend to zero this n root will also tend to zero so at uh, absolute zero temperature the number of roton is actually zero and cb due to this roton is also zero it means uh, at absolute zero uh, there is no roton in this system Uh, <coughs> the ex on there will be only one uh, in fact uh, excitation and that will be actually phonon in this condition okay now uh, as uh, we have calculated the value of this cb root in this lecture and in the previous lecture we have uh, calculated the value of cb ph which i have mentioned uh, earlier in this lecture you can see that this cb uh, ph is given by this expression or by this expression now the total specific heat of this uh, system will be just the sum of the contribution of cb due to the phonon and due to the roton so uh, you know the expression for both of these cb ph and cb rot so let us substitute the value of cb ph and cb root and after substituting the these values you will get the total specific heat capacity cb and that will be given like this okay this is nk times 12 uh, 12 zeta 4 by zeta 3 n ph divided by n plus 3 by 4 plus delta by kt plus delta by kt whole square times n root by n this is actually the value of the total specific heat capacity okay now actually this expression for specific heat capacity is in close agreement with the experimental result but for that we have to take some specific value so actually the thermodynamic properties are in excellent uh, agreement with the theory uh, when we take that the speed of sound c is equal to 240 meter per second and the value of delta k is equal to 9.6 kelvin and p not over h bar uh, remember this h bar is actually equal to h divided by 2 pi and uh, it is equal to 2.0 angstrom inverse and the, this effective mass mu if we take 0.77 m where m is actually mass of one atom of helium so when we will take uh, these values in this expression then the thermodynamic properties or behavior uh, of this liquid helium 2 
is in excellent agreement with the experimental result okay so these are some specific values okay i hope you have understand the facts here and uh, it is found that when temperature is very small sufficiently low in that condition the contribution in constituting cv due to the roton is much less than the contribution of phonon so you can say that at sufficiently low temperature uh, the main contribution in constituting the cv is of phonon not of roton so this cv roton is smaller than cv ph at uh, sufficiently low temperature but uh, when temperature is less or equal to 1.2 kelvin then roton plays a dominant role in the specific heat it means it contributes more than the phonon okay so these were uh, the important fact these were the important concepts uh, regarding the cv of liquid helium 2 uh, due to the contribution of rotons okay now uh, in the next lecture will be the final lecture on uh, this uh, uh, landau theory of uh, liquid helium 2 and uh, so uh, definitely watch all the videos previously on this subject and then you will understand very clearly the forthcoming lecture so thank you very much